Hey, what's good, YouTube? J. Dot the Jamo. As you can tell by the title, I'm a little out of my comfort zone today. Um, long story short, a little Amazon seller hollered me. They were like, "Yo, can you review one of our products?" I was like, "Cool, as long as I can keep it free." They were like, "Yeah, but it's not really one of the products you usually review. It's this wallet." I was like. Okay, I usually do tech, but you wanted me to review a wallet. They were like, yeah, it's, it's really small. It can fit all your cards. And look, you just show it to the people on your channel and let them see how good it is. So um, I'm going to show you what's really good with this RQ wallet. I'm going to put the link in the description below. I'm just going to show you it on Amazon right here. This is it. This is um how things are supposed to be held in it. Um, And as, they, as you can see, they market in there. As but well, they're marketing it there as being a lot smaller than a normal wallet, and um, it does really stand up to the claims. To be honest, I mean that's my normal wallet, and that is the RQ wallet right there. I mean, it's my super dry wallet. They're about the same, about the same kind of size, but it's just a lot, just a lot thinner. I guess is it a lot thinner? Is it the same size? I mean, it's got this little clip on the back as well, which it looks like you clip your, you clip your notes in, kind of thing. Can you see that there? You actually clip your notes in the back of that. So we're going to try that. Um, I definitely know it's a lot thinner than my usual going out wallet. <laughs> I mean, you can barely fit this in my suit pocket um, when I'm going out. And I that's this is the wallet I usually use. But obviously, you've got a lot more compartments in here. Compartment for change. Compartment for, like, cash and stuff like that. Anyway, challenge. Can we fit everything in my wallet into this little... Naked mini wallet. Let's give it. Let's give it a go. I think we can. I think we can do it. Um, I better not take out my bank card for <laughs> security purposes. I'll just take out my taste card. Um, what's that David Lloyd membership right there? Okay, that's fitting. Bucks New Uni. I was a student like what two years ago, but I'm still getting that student discount. You better believe it. <laughs> um, what else we got here? Ah, oh, club card, Holland and Barrett. There we go. Got to keep healthy. Oh, keep that in there. <laughs> and we got the staff discount card at Blue Water. So, um, oh, and we got a hundred Jamaican dollars. Now, I couldn't actually afford to get a fiver into this video, and my mum wouldn't give me one. So, yeah, we got a hundred Jamaican dollars. That's about 62 pence. Um, we're going to clip that in here. And I guess. We are now good to go. I mean, let's just have a look. I, I think we're there. I I think we are there. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that's basically it, guys. Um, I mean, it smells of leather. Well, it is leather. I, it, I don't know. I'm not really a material guy. Um, but it does really sound like sound like leather. Wow. Okay. I'm obviously videoing this video way too late. But um, yeah, it smells like leather. Um, it's got a nice little soft feel to it. Um, practicality wise, um, I'm not sure it's not really easy for me to get this because these cards, um, are not being covered that much. It's not really easy for me to get to this card in the second card slot, kind of, you know, stress to get it out there. I mean, this card's fine and this card's fine, but, um, I don't know if I'd want to have my bank cards in these two because they're, you know, they're quite open. It's easy for anyone to take them out if that's in your back pocket. And um, I don't know. Obviously, it doesn't feel like anything's going to fall out. But it feels like it's not that... I don't know. It just feels like it's not that secure. It's too open. I'm not sure about leaving notes in this little flap as well. I mean, it's quite... Okay. I'm just holding it by the note, actually. That's, that's quite a strong flap. Okay, that's quite a strong flap. I take it back about the flap. The flap is quite strong. This little magnetic flap here. But, um, yeah, apart from that, actually, I think I put my blank cards in this back bit because this bit seems quite accessible. Um, you got this bit here. Is that for change? Would you put change in here? I'll just put change in my pocket, really. So maybe you can put another card in there or put your parking tickets or something like that. I'm not too sure. But, um, yeah, there you go, guys. The RQ, let me just, I'm going to put the link in the description below, but it's the RQ Man Genuine Leather Brown Money Clip Slim Front Pocket. Oh, front pocket wallet and credit card holder ID case.
So I think that's quite cool. If you know you're suited and booted, you're wearing that tight suit because you just ate too much and you're too fat. And you want that slim wallet to slip into your suit. But yeah, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you want me to review more stuff like this, um, leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe and like. Make sure you check out the seller's page. Thanks to RQ for sending this to me. Um, thanks for watching again. And I will catch you in the next one when we be dropping the V20. Yes, we are back to the usual program in the next video. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. G Jamo out.